I want to talk to you for a minute about the real deal on solar energy. There's been a lot of discussion about there must be a weak link in my solar power system and in my setup. The weak link is the missing sun. With no sun, you've got no electricity. You can see it's dark. There's no power. My solar panels, right now, in the last two weeks, have not been producing enough power because there hasn't been sun. And people keep trying to figure out what's wrong with my solar power system. What's wrong? Is it the batteries? Is it the wires? Is it charge control? Or is it the solar panels? No. The lack of sun. I'm going to show you some things and discuss some numbers and some details that's going to show you why. Although I have 800 watts of solar panels here, I have no power no usable energy right now and my battery bank is dead because there's no sun you gotta realize the sun is the source of power when you're using solar panels no sun no power now I've got a MPPT solar charge controller so I can connect my wires my panels I should say in series which they are I have this very thick wire here running through the yard that is more than enough for the 130 volts at 16 amps that I have running through it that's not the, the weak link that's definitely not the weak link the MPPT charge controller is actually a bonus right now because without it I wouldn't have any power right now at all it's raining it's been raining for the better part of two weeks let me take you inside and show you something right now I have 12.1 volts and only 12 watts of power in peak sunlight time Right now, at this hour, I should be pulling in up to 800 watts. Now that is a theoretical maximum. This is a TriStar MPPT solar charge controller, which maximizes the amount of power coming from your solar panels. And generally, you'll never really see 800 watts of power out of 800 watt solar panels. I don't think you'll ever get it precise because there's going to be losses in the lines in the charge controller there's going to be losses. You can minimize the losses by having larger wires which I have. I have really fat wires coming out going into this and coming out of this solar charge controller. There I just dropped down to 11 watts. We're looking at one amp of energy coming into my batteries for two weeks this is all I've been putting out I've seen a maximum of hundred and fifty watts in the last two weeks coming out of my solar panels that's nothing so the problem is that although I have 800 watts of solar and a uh, six batteries I have 600 amp hours of power I have no usable energy right now and my battery bank is low the weak link is the Sun it all depends on if the Sun is shining or not so yeah I really hope that clears up what's going on here because I um, there's nothing wrong since my refrigerator drained my battery bank the only thing wrong is that I haven't had a whole day of Sun to top off my batteries and um, if I get a full day of sun, they'll top off. 800 watts will do it, but another problem, and I'll take you back outside. So another problem with getting maximum solar power out of your solar panels is that unless you have a solar tracking system, 
Your sun rises in the east, travels across the sky in an upwards arc, and sets in the west. So regardless where you have your solar panels pointed and how they are set up, you're not going to see maximum sunlight energy. You're not going to get maximum power for more than a couple hours in the whole complete day. So peak solar panel output is going to be limited by how long the sun is in this section of the sky facing your solar panels. Now things like trees, I'm surrounded by trees, is going to greatly limit the amount of solar energy that you have. And this is something I'm dealing with right now. Eventually, I want to trim back some of these trees and widen my path for the solar power to come through and enter my meadow and shine down on the solar panels. But that's a project that's going to take some time and I'll get to that probably next year. So that's one thing. Now the other thing is wind energy. A lot of people are talking about uh, wind energy supplementing solar. Essentially it's a great idea. But if you look right here, that's my weather station. Sorry about the jerkiness, I have highly zoomed. Let me try this again. That's my weather station. And as you can see right now, there is no wind at all. Not the slightest, tiniest breeze. If you look up in the sky here, although it's raining, there's not a tiny bit of breeze up in the trees either. They're dead calm. So right now I wouldn't have any wind energy. And this is the situation I've been dealing with in the last two weeks. I'll get a little bit of gusting winds now and then, but not enough to do anything. And to have wind energy, you need a good strong wind, a steady good strong wind, which I currently haven't been having at all recently. Now another thing, people are constantly asking me, why don't you get your wind turbines up? Well, actually, that tower, that bracket right there is made out of pallet wood, and I had a 20-foot pipe attached to that last year, and I was getting, in winter, winter months I get gusting, blasting winds through this metal like mad. I get a lot of wind blasting through here. But, again, if you look at the tree line, the trees are shading my meadow from maximum wind energy. So now what I need to do to maximize my wind output, I need to get a tower that goes above the tree line. Some people have suggested cutting down a tree and raising it up. Well, theoretically it sounds awesome, but I don't have a way to raise a tree. A tree is heavy, really heavy. And the other problem is digging a hole in the ground. I can't dig here because it's rocky. So... I have to come up with an option, and what I'm looking for right now is a ham radio tower, or a CB radio tower, which I'll put here dead center in the meadow, and try to get my wind turbine up above the tree line, and then I'll be really pulling in some power. But, again, on a dead calm day like today, with a straight down quiet rain, there's nothing. I've got no sol solar power, no wind energy. So if you're deciding to go off the grid, or considering going off the grid, you're going to have to have backups. I've go I'm going on two weeks without any really measurable amount of power coming in. Calm days, calm nights, and cloudy rainy skies. This is something you have to consider if you're going to go off the grid, and if you're going to run solar power. Now if you live in a sunny area, great, happiness. If you live in a place where it rains a lot, you're going to have extremely reduced solar panel output. If you live in the forest, you're going to have very greatly reduced solar energy. Usable solar energy is greatly reduced. Now next year I want to make a solar tracking system for my solar panels. I want to get these up on towers. I'm looking for a satellite radio mount, a satellite antenna dish I should say. One of those satellite dish um, poles with all the controls. They're becoming a rare and dying thing, but I'm hoping to find one of them 
mount my solar panels on a homemade bracket, get them up in the air a little higher, which will give me just a little bit more sun as the sun is setting below the tree line. And also, I want to then build a solar tracking system. Now, if I use a dish mount, remember the dish mount has almost, I wouldn't say 360 degrees of, of motion, but a dish mount can move up and down, right and left, to track the satellites across the sky, just like you would the sun with solar panels. So that's something I'm going to be looking for. Actually, it's something I am looking for right now. And that'll be really awesome. So, I just wanted to share with you the real deal on solar power. And on it, it's just bottom line. Without the sun, without the wind, you've got no energy. And I hope that closes all the discussions about why I have no energy and why I'm sitting in the dark quite often and if there's anything wrong with my system. No, there's not, because when the sun shines, whoa, I've got energy to burn. So this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World on the Off-Grid Project. And that's it for today, sitting here in the wet, dark forest.